Welcome back to Lutz's video series. I'm Matthew Tarney, Product Market Manager for Cable and Connectivity Products. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new product from Lutza. It's an M12 connector with integrated cage clamps. Very easy to install and very easy to use. Today we're going to look at this connector and how it connects to one of our more popular Ethernet cables. The first thing that I'd like to point out about these connectors is that unlike most traditional M12 connectors, these don't use a screw type termination. Uh, these actually use a cage clamp design that opens up very easily uh, with nothing more than a fingernail and actually allows you to make a vibration proof connection to that terminal. These are great for very common applications in the industrial world. Think about integrated ethernet on sensors, controllers, anything that's field based where you need an M12 Cat5e ethernet connection or applications like actuator sensor where you have three or four conductor cables that are connected to some sort of I.O. using an M12 connector. So today we're going to take a little closer look at these connectors and how they connect to our Lutza Ethernet cables. The first thing we do to install an M12 connector is pick the cable that we want to go with it. Uh, now this connector that I have here is a four pole decoded M12 connector. It's suitable for Cat5e Ethernet applications. Uh, think of anywhere that you have sensors enabled with Ethernet or maybe you're running a Profinet network um, for a Siemens or Beckhoff controller. So we're going to take our cable and we're just going to prepare it to terminate to the connector. Now that we have our cable prepared to terminate, we have our back shell installed on the cable, uh, the next step is to prepare the shield. All of these connectors come with a little strip of metallic tape and all you have to do is take that tape off of its housing and wrap it around the shield that you have exposed on the cable. This is going to make sure that shield doesn't come unraveled as we tighten down the housing. So we'll go ahead and install that. And now we're ready to terminate our conductors. Now one nice thing about these terminals is that they're both numbered and color coded. So depending on your application, you can terminate according to the color code, which for the connector I'm holding is Profinet, or by the numbered terminals on the housing. In this case, because I'm using a color code that's different from the connector, we'll terminate using those numbers. Very, very easy to open up those contacts. You just take a fingernail and pop them right open. Once you have that contact open, you simply take your conductor, insert it into the contact, and close that contact. You now have a vibration proof connection between the connector and the conductor. So we'll go ahead and do that for the rest of our conductors as well. Now that we have all of our conductors terminated, all we have to do is close up the housing. Simply slide the housing up over the connector. Make sure to rotate it so that it's aligned with the keyway and it'll slide right on. Close that connector up and tighten down with the integrated strain relief. And now you have an M12 connector that's ready to terminate in the field. And that's all it takes to install a Lutza M12 connector onto your cable. Whether you're installing an Ethernet network, an actuator or sensor, or field I.O., look no further than Lutza connectors and cables to make sure you get a connection from the device back to the controller that's safe and secure every time. Uh, these connectors are available in straight versions and 90 degree in male and female, and in a variety of different coatings. Reach out to your local Lutza representative to find out more about these and other Lutza products. Thanks again for watching our video, and have a great day.